guys welcome back to my channel um this is a few days in a random few days in life where brandon comes in turn so i'm basically i need to so this comes out like this so we're in an event on thursday today is tuesday tuesday the um 20 no i don't know but i've inserted somewhere i forgot so they come out like these are story books these are wordless story books because there are no words just pictures so i need to fold them for them to be like this and then after that because we didn't have a branding on them directly i need to now insert the stickers which is our organization stickers and then the end product should be this basically you get me so i'll show you how to fold it okay so we have instructions here at the back but yeah so it comes up like this then you fold it like this fold it like so okay and then so we want the instruction on the back is that a door because they all have doors even though it's different storybooks so the door needs to be at the front right all right so it's like this and then you fold it because there are also some guiding lines here that help you to see where to fold and then you have it like this and then you fold it again you fold it I actually thought of vlogging randomly just right now <laughs> anyways because my week my, my week is very hectic so you have it like this now but look at it so you can't really page it because there are also some um thingies underneath so you would need to have it pageable like how you'd have a book right so once you have it like this you then open it again remember there's a hole i didn't show you the hole but there's a hole in the middle in the middle so you open it like this and then it goes like that and then you fold it back and then you have the door at the front again all right and then it won't be get as accurate here because i mean i'm folding and then now you're gonna page it so you have every page shown and then underneath it's just the instructions that we had earlier on so you page it you page it and that's it the reason behind this wordless books is because we know that quite a lot of people are illiterate that means they cannot read and write so we are trying to run that campaign so basically we give freedom to people to actually um tell their own story of what they believe this is so if you want to look at it you know sort of tell us what you think is going on there and basically so we have an event um this thursday and i'll take you guys along on that vlog as well um yeah basically that's what i'm currently doing it's quite after hours because everyone has left the office uh, quite a few of us is left so i just need to put on the stickers and put on this entire bunch and inside those purple bags i'll show you the bag inside this bag because we need to leave with them for thursday so i'll carry on doing that and i'll see you guys either when i leave because i need to leave i need to pass by the mall once i'm done i'm going to head to the mall and then head home so yeah that's about it the day in life of a brand and comms intern it is quite the busiest department because we run every event and we run every branding basically and communications behind so yeah i'll see you later and some <laughs> and we are done some of those we left behind that will remain we'll just take this um for tomorrow i mean for thursday and then I'll just pack them all everything away and then I will be out of here. That is the door chair, and then this is where you enter. 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 
The lighting gate is going to be a bit tricky. So yeah, this is my space. Or oh, this is our space. This is my space. This is where I sit. And that's where it says T sits. So yeah, basically. Yeah. And this is where we have all our to-dos. Those are all my to-dos. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when this vlog will go up. But I don't want to be a... A party pooper, not party pooper. I don't want to give you a heads up of what we're planning, so hopefully, whatever is there should be done by the time this vlog goes up. But, anyways, this is our office space, and then this is our bathroom. We didn't have water yesterday, so we left early. <laughs> but, anyways, this is our bathroom, and, uh, and we have a shower situation going on. I like to open the windows because. I need some fresh air so yeah and then that's all our stuff for when we have events um this is the kitchen space i don't know who's bikes or bicycle that this is our kitchen area but we do have a main kitchen area on the other side um where everything basically stored where you make a cup of coffee of which i want to go and make a cup of coffee but for now i will just basically set up before i go that side all right let me show you actually guys my fit i want to show you guys my outfit for today so this is the top basically that's my bad hat let me try and pull it a bit lower so that you can see the entire situation okay it's still like this so this is these are the pants these are the pants i don't know you can see the entire outfit but these are the pants and the shoes and 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 yeah once i get my tripod back you guys will start to see me properly because my tripod is still with the later and i've been saying that i know but that's the case so load shedding load shedding i must keep it early <laughs> load shedding and i have a lot to do I doubt we have backup. Do you have backup here? I I wanted coffee. What is this? And also the two... Okay. What's going on today is... Let me make sure it's a I'm sure you can see me. So what we have going on today is we need to go and visit a uh, venue for our event tomorrow. Um, I don't know why this is like this. Hey? Because it's not nice now not nice at all I go see him anyway so the to do for today is we need to go to a place called Devon um it's quite an it's not quite it's an hour away from my workplace um so we are basically going to view the uh, the place for tomorrow's event we have an event tomorrow as I said um yesterday um we have a story sharing event um that's launching our wordless books um and tomorrow is actually world literacy day well yeah it's international international so yeah we need to go and video the place so that we make sure everything is tops for tomorrow um we're leaving at 1 p.m so i don't know if we still have work to do now because of load shedding actually we do because it actually is two hours and my by my thinking by the two hours we will be leaving so I'll try and see if I have any work I need to do online. If I don't, I'll just carry on with packing the stuff for tomorrow and until we have electricity back. But anyways, we'll see you guys when I know what is going on. <laughs> so the update is there's no backup and electricity, since it's gone, the Wi-Fi is going to be off after four to five minutes. Of the, sh of, the of, of the shading or whatever the schedule is so now there's nothing I can do I just need to sort out the packaging for tomorrow and um, basically just wait for the rest of my team to get here and see what the go ahead will be um, and my phone is to be charged <laughs> luckily I got my power bank so I will use that in the meantime um, yeah until everything works which is up until 10 a.m.
or half a state. So yeah, a good day in the life of a brand that comes into it. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, gradually, okay? But again, I will just give myself some work in the meantime while I wait. I'm just making myself a cup of coffee. channel today is a day uh, two or three of the day in life of a brand and comms intern today is the day of the event we have a wordless story sharing um launch that we have today so and that will be taking place in a place called devon which we went to check out yesterday if you remember from the clips and today um we are also um expecting umam Gwinam Khope. she will be doing the story sharing with us um, so yeah, I we're basically in the office now. The time right now is exactly 7 a.m. We're supposed to be leaving according to according to the emails, but guess what? Guess what? Always be prepared. Always be prepared. Now I need to. Um, we need to just print out the programs for um, the day. Everything else, as you saw, we transported it to the venue. I'm just waiting for everyone to get here and waiting for Usus T to get here, who is our assistant and in terms of the event and in liaising with transport and all that so yeah i am just going to take a breather i need to drink some water it's going to be a long day i don't know if i need coffee just yet it's so early for coffee uh, i'm not even a fan of coffee so i won't do that to myself anyways guys you will see as it goes hey because if i don't lift up my camera if i don't speak because i will lift up my camera but if i don't speak don't take it to heart ne? i'm just showing you i might write subtitles or write um some text you will understand i trust you guys <laughs> so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and basically yeah tell me how you feel about the video bye and bye i woke up at 4 a.m 4 a.m Putin Kyle. I'll see you. This is the okay, I didn't show you the outfit of the day. So this is they say the white t-shirt. I took anything close to white because I don't have anything but a clear plain t-shirt. So yeah, this is it. And then the jeans. The jeans. The jeans. The jeans. You know? And then her. Okay. 
I'm so grateful to be here on a special day, the 8th of September 2022. The 8th of September is a special day that I celebrate every single day, every single year. Because the 8th of September is International Day of Literacy. Yeah. Yeah. As you said, Sister I said, I'm Naomi Kwata from the House Mart Start Houtem branch. Uh, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all our partners. You know, at Smart Start, we always say the strength of our model is in the partnership that partnerships that we build. We have partnerships with government, they are here, Department of Social Development, Department of Education, our local municipality partners. Wonderful smart starters, ECD practitioners, parents, and children. Yay! Welcome, children. Now, as smart start, we aim to build important literacy skills among three and five year olds. And that's where these wonderful, wordless storybooks come from. From our aim to build important literacy skills. Now, these books, they are, they are wordless, and by being wordless, they have the power to transcend critical barriers to story sharing. We know one of our biggest challenges in South Africa is the limited availability of printed material, storybooks, especially in, in indigenous languages. We have that limitations. We also, we get that limitation, we also have a challenge of affordability. Those limited ones that are printed, they cannot reach everybody because of affordability. And we know also that we have a challenge of low literacy levels among our parents and caregivers. So these nice wordless story books assist with the interaction between practitioners and children. They assist with the interaction, improve that interaction between parents and children at home. Because, you know, they can be told in any language. They improve that, you know, creativity. They allow children to express themselves, to be creative, to be imaginative, and that's the power that's in these storybooks. Linda, but it's a balloon. Ipi balloon gabush. Ipi. Ipi balloon yak. Where's the balloon? Nayabon? Ipi balloon gabush. Now it's a balloon gabush. Now it's Yabon. What color is it? What color is the balloon? In Jani? You red? Ibon, Vune? Yeah, Ibon. And then, because it's what is red? Oh, I'm not sure. Who red? Yay! Yeah. Can you get me some English speaking people to say Rubedu? Rubedu. Can we have some English speakers to say Rubedu? Rubedu. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody's going to get smart today. Yeah. Oh, it's the 8th of September. 8th of September. Everyone is going to learn to say Rubedu. <laughs> Rubedu. <laughs> 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 
It's a birthday cake. What about you? It's a birthday. I'm not going to get a birthday cake. What are you going to get a birthday cake? I'm going to get a birthday cake. I'm going to get a four and a half or five. I'm going to get a five. What's your name? I'm going to get a five. What's your name? I'm going to get a five years. Or I'm going to get a four. What do you think? I'm going to get a birthday cake. 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 Oh, you're not going to buy the market. You're not going to buy the market. One. You're not going to buy the market. You're not going to buy the market. Because banani, ban a smart star. Si abonga footy again is a kulumi is kulumi le pambili iga kulugazi from DPE. Bonga baketa today on an international day of literacy. You chose us. It means a lot to us. And this is this was saying atiku kona si kuleta kona. So kuleta maslanga na kama iman. Thank you mile gabanya bininga bezwa. God I guess bonga da kulu siswe tu uhambe ga temo so hamba. Na wabonge aba pete umtimbi ikru ya ako si bonga da kulu gubona. Siba fiseli inta anta. Guys, I'm so tired. This brings us unfortunately to the end of this vlog. I just got home and it's just after 4pm. I'm so exhausted. I still have work to do. But I think I'll push it for tomorrow because I need to recover. And yeah, more than anything, guys, I'm so honored. I got to share a story with mom when I'm Do do you understand? Do you understand? I feel like I'm 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 leaving. I feel like I am. I'm living in my answer prayers. I've been saying this to myself, and it's becoming a thing now, you know. And I like God's work for doing that. Um, particular I guess I'm. Look at the things that we come back with. But anyways, I'll see you guys on my next channel, on my next video. I'm so tired. Bye guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.